hello, 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 hello. Today I am here to review a book. I don't review books very often, if ever, because I don't think I'm really good at it. But I was sent this book for review by the author, so the book that I'm going to be reviewing today is The Yoga of Max's Discontent by an author whose name I cannot pronounce, so I apologize author, but your name will be in the title of this video, so uh, there you go. This book is an ARC and does not release until May 3rd, 2016, which is very soon. And now I'm gonna talk about this book a lot, so. Here we go. This book centers on a character named Max. Max grew up poor, living with his single mother who not only had to provide for him, but his younger sister as well. His sister and him were able to make it out of the harsh living conditions that they were in by throwing themselves into school because education was essentially their only way out. And they did get out. They made a life for themselves and they became well educated and financially stable. You would think Max would be happy, but he's not. He's lost he's confused, he's unsure of his faith, or lack thereof, and thus, because of this, he goes on a spiritual journey to find himself. He pushes his body to the limits, mentally and physically. And does he find what he is looking for? That's the big question of this book. I won't tell you, because that would be a spoiler, but I will tell you, I highly enjoyed this book. Reading the first half of this book, Max drove me crazy. I wanted to throw this book at the wall so many times I was that frustrated. He was selfish, making poor decisions and putting himself into situations that he clearly should not have been in. But after the halfway point, things got better and even better, and then even better after that. You begin to see how well-crafted this book was and how realistic Max's choices actually were. If I was in that situation, I would have been that selfish and stupid and naive. And for that, I highly applaud the character development. This book is mainly centered in India around the Himalayas and around the south where a heavy drought is um, going on. I've never been to India, but the author described the area in such a beautiful way that I could really appreciate it and I felt as if I was there and at the same time I was able to see the poverty and the harsh living conditions that people had to live with during the drought. This book heavily focuses on yoga and meditation for a good half of this book and I was blown away at the the lengths people took to throw themselves into yoga and meditation. And previous to this book, I did not know a single thing about yoga and meditation really at all, nothing in the slightest, no knowledge. But after reading this book, I've become so curious and interested to learn more about that lifestyle. It's incredibly fascinating. Going into this book, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it because I thought it was going to be very religious, which I'm not. So I was pleasantly surprised at how much I actually enjoyed it and how much I took away from it. It's one of those books that really make you think and even if you don't share the same views, which I don't, it still had me thinking a lot about so much. I honestly think anyone could take something away from this book, whether you're religious or whether you're not. And with all of that said, I rated this book 4 out of 5 stars. Why 4 out of 5 stars, you may be wondering. I did really enjoy this book, but there was one thing that made me knock down one star. Even though I thought this book was really realistic character-wise, it did have me rolling my eyes a bit because of how easy it was for Max to get in and out of certain situations that he was in. It felt almost too easy for Max to follow this path up until a certain point. It was one of those situations where he was always at the right place at the right time and it wasn't believable in that sense to me. So because of that, I did knock it down one star, but Regardless of that, I did still really enjoy this book. If you guys have read The Alchemist, that book is completely different from this book, but I think people who have read that book and have liked it would enjoy this book. So with that being said, that's my review for The Yoga of Max's Discontent. Thank you for the author for sending me this book. I really enjoyed it and that's all I have to say today. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!